26 minutes past the hour. Welcome back to Africa Live. Now tensions between Tunisia's ruling party and its opponents continue to simmer. Protesters have taken to the streets to demand the resignation of the Islamist-led government. Now women's rights are also at the heart of the unrest. Clementine Logan tells us more. Women's Day in Tunisia and both sides in the country's political standoff have called rallies. This one was organized by the ruling Islamist Enada party as a chance to answer its critics. We have made efforts to find a solution to this crisis through dialogue and political partnerships. We don't want to deprive Tunisian women's rights to celebrate this festival. Now, besides the celebration, we would also like to underline women's important role in Tunisia's political transition. Tunisian women have been on equal footing with men since a code of personal status was introduced on the 13th of August 1956. It abolished polygamy, created a judicial procedure for divorce, and outlawed forced marriages. But Anada's secular opponents fear the Islamist party is trying to strip away those rights. Today, Tunisian women don't have to wear the veil in public, but hardline Islamists have started threatening women in the streets, and critics say Anada has done little to rein in these extremists. The party insists it will protect women's rights. But protesters at a rival Women's Day rally remain skeptical over Anada. Many say the government has also broken promises on job creation and public services. According to the opposition, Anada wants to take all the places and squeeze all other political parties out. This is the origin of the current political crisis. Some analysts say Anada is a moderate party that's already made a lot of compromises. But to its opponents, it's incapable of delivering on its promises or ruling the country. Clementine Logan, CCTV.